Welcome to the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency, Journeys of the Imagination. I'm head travel agent and host, Connie. Of an armchair adventure, you can go anywhere you like. On an armchair adventure, imaginations fly. Good day, Bon we, wherever you're listening from, adventurers, welcome back to part two of our friendship fiction adventure. The voices of today's joining at home adventurers are Zach, Robin, Christopher, Ted, Oliver, Mohammed, Isabel. Hi, everyone. Hi, Connie. On an armchair adventure, we can go anywhere we like from the comfort of where we are right now. So they're perfect for everyone, no matter what age you are. Restart, call now. The last time you were here, adventurer, Kenny was taking us on an armchair adventure to the repair cafe so that I can try and fix my friendship and my necklace. I had a falling out with my best friend, Sora. No, I, no, that's not what I said. I said, no, hold on, you're not even listening to me. Okay, right, let me explain for No, no, you're not being fair. No, no. Oh, oh, Sora, please, I didn't say that. I broke her trust, and then we broke our matching friendship necklaces. Now I'm with the gang and we're on our way through a massive, pretty magical park to the repair cafe. We faced a grizzly bear, and then I tried to cross a rapid river on the ricketiest bridge, which fell apart beneath me. Kenny is trying to fix the bridge now. How's it going, Kenny? Not too bad. Let's give Kenny a hand building the bridge, adventurers. Get your hammer and nails ready. I'm really good at building stuff. I'll have this bridge done in no time. This bridge might look different to how it was, but it'll do the job. I could do with some long pieces of material. Could everyone pass me their belts and scarf, please? Well, if I give him my belt, the trousers will fall down. You keep yours then, Ronnie. Thank you. This doesn't work. We'll have to think of something else. How would you get across the Rapid River Adventurers? I would ride a crocodile. I will build a raft. I'll jump from tree to tree. I'm a really strong swimmer, so I'll just swim. I don't fancy swimming it. That river has a mind of its own. We could make a human bridge. Hold on to each other's feet, stretch across the river. Watch me, You have to say your socks on. Just be This is gonna work. We could build a massive kite. Or a hot air balloon. No need. This is ready. Excellent. Well done, Kenny. Thanks for fixing the... Doesn't look like a bridge to me. Well, it's not a bridge anymore. But it will get us across. How? It's a rope swing. We'll need to do a running jump. Then it will launch us across to the other side. Whee! Okay. Who's going first? I will. It's because of me we're heading to the repair cafe. Okay, Connie, grab this. Got it. Then just run up. And jump! Whee! I made it! Well done. Woo-hoo. Well done, Connie. Adventurers, do you want to have a go? Run and jump with the rope swing. Get to the other side. Whee! Come on, run. Oh, you're all so brave. Okay, gang. Are you joining me? Too right. I can't wait. Oh, I thought you'd never I'll ask. go next. Come on, Ronnie. It's not as far as you think. Ready? Whee! Last one now. Ready, Pat? I'm a bit scared. Honestly, you'll be fine. We're all here to catch you. Okay. I'm going to end up swinging the other way. No, you won't. You can do this. 
Reach your arm to me. I'm trusting you, Connor. You won't let me down, will you? No, Pat. You can trust me. Oh, Got you. Well done. Would you look at that? Oh, I'm Pat. What a team. Everyone's made it. Well done, team. Thanks to you, Connor. If you hadn't grabbed me, I'd have been in that river. I wasn't going to leave you when you needed a hand, Pat. That's a good friend, Connie. Somebody who's there for their friends when they need them. Anyone would have done it. Let's keep going. Not far now. There's the sign. Two miles to go. You are very trustworthy, Connie. I'm not sure Sora would agree. There's one more thing I haven't mentioned that happened in drama class this morning. What was it? We were running through our lines together for the upcoming show. We're supposed to have learned them, but Sora doesn't know hers very well. I don't know why, because she's had them ages. I shouted at her and made her feel like she was behind. I know I was impatient. I know I upset her. I see. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me and want to be my friend again. Oh, my aching bone. My feet are sore. We've been walking for a while now. Can we slow down a bit? Oh, we're going a bit fast for me. Come on, we're nearly there. We don't want to stop yet. It'll be going dark. We've not walked that far. Let's keep going. Yeah, come on, guys. We've only got the last little bit to go. We're almost there. I can't keep up with your pace. <sighs> I'll have to sit down for a bit. Me too. I need a rest. But we're so close. Could you maybe make it another mile, guys? I'm worried the repair cafe might close before we get there. We can have a good rest when we arrive and a cup of tea and everything. I can't. I'm sorry, Connie. My feet are too sore. I haven't walked this much in ages. We won't hold you back. You keep going. No, no. Let's stop now. You're right, you know. We have been walking a while. And I'm shattered after that rope swing. I don't know about anyone else. Come on, we'll get there sooner if we carry on. No, it's okay. I'll stay here with those who want to. We can eat some of the snacks. Oh, yes. I forgot about the snacks. Me too. That changes things. Yeah, what's the rush? We'll still get there in good time. Oh, I'll have some picnic blankets. Ooh, oh, yummy. Ooh. A bit peckish now. Ooh, let's see what we've got. Adventurers, are you hungry? What's in your snack bag? A peanut butter sandwich, mm. unicorn biscuit, big bottle, fizzy drink, energy bar, some tangy crisp, popcorn, cookies. Delicious. Let's get stuck in. This chicken's very tasty. Mm. 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 This pork pie mm. is just what I fancied. Mm. Mm. Some beef spread. Mm. Big chunk of cheese. Oh, lovely fresh fruit. Yeah. This is a three course banquet. Oh, I feel much better already. That was very empathetic of you to wait for the others, Connie. You considered everybody's feelings. Thanks, guys. I'm not sure I considered Sora's feelings this morning. You've been friends for too long to let a silly argument come between you. How do I try to become friends again? Adventurers? How do you make up with your friends? I would help them. I'd ring them up for a chat. Take them to the park. I'd say sorry. I'd try to talk to them. I would write a card with an, an apology inside. They're all brilliant ideas. Sora will listen if you apologise, Connie. And you listen to her. Ask her if you can meet up and talk about it. Talk about what went wrong. See how Sora feels. Be open to what she has to say. Be honest about what happened. She's had some time to think about it now. Offer an olive branch. Or some cake. Get together all the food. I bet you decided it was just a misunderstanding. Nothing to lose a friendship over. If you apologise now, you can put it behind you. Thanks for all those ideas. But I'm not sure it'll work. You didn't see her face. She was so angry. But at least I can get my necklace fixed. Let's get to the repair cafe. Last one there's a rotten apple. Wait for me! We're here, the repair cafe. Hooray! We're here! Hello, everybody. Hiya, Laura. Everybody, this is Laura. She manages the repair cafe. Hello. Hello, Laura. Hello. Hi. Nice to How see you, Laura. Good to meet you. Laura, this is Connie. 
She's the Ed Travel Agent at Armchair Adventures. Hi, Connie. Did you make it through the magical park okay? Yes, we did in the end. What is it about that place? It's bonkers. Everybody's journey is different, but you usually get to the side a bit wiser. That's true. I thought you'd all like a cup of tea, so I've made a big pot. Please help yourselves. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you. Adventurers, would you like a cup of tea? This place is great. Look at all these tools. Those belong to the fixers. Anybody can bring in something that's broken or no longer working, and the fixer will take a look, then show the owner how to repair it. That's brilliant. It's great, isn't it? And when the things have been restored, they're spared from going into landfill. That's great. What kind of things do they fix? Everything. Toasters, vacuum cleaners, chairs, clothing, coffee machines. Is there somebody here who could look at my... Old jewellery box that's falling apart. Chain that my father gave me. Clock that was my dad's. It's not making bird noises anymore and I miss them. Watch that no longer tells the time. Christening bracelet that has been passed down through the generations. Can anybody here fix me? Have you forgotten that we're here to get Connie's necklace fixed? Thank you. Here it is. We have a jewellery fixer who will definitely be able to help. That would be amazing. While they're doing that, adventurers, do you have anything you'd like to be fixed? My book's broken. My car. My PlayStation. My Xbox. My scooter's broke. The strap on my bag. Your favourite coat has a hole in it. I really hope they can all be fixed too. Here's your necklace, Connie. All fixed for you. That's so brilliant. Thank you so much. Excellent. Do you feel better now, Connie? A little bit. We had another necklace come in this morning that was the mirror image of that one. That would have been Sora. That's right. Oh, wow. The necklace is just as important to her, Connie. And so is your friendship. I hope so. Do you have a fixer for friendships, Laura? The fixers start by looking at what the problem is. What is the problem between you and your friend? I am a bad friend. I don't think so. We've seen what kind of friend you are. A good one. When that bear came at us from out of nowhere. You stood up for us. That's what courage. When we couldn't make it across the river. You took the risk and went first. And you held on to me to make sure I made it too. You showed us just how trustworthy you are. And when some of the group were impatient with the others... Come on, we'll get there sooner if we carry on. You showed us patience, even though you really want to get here quickly. I'll stay here with those who want to. You never let us down, Connie. Sure, I will forgive you. You must forgive yourself, too. Everybody makes mistakes. Thank you, guys. I guess you're right. Maybe we were just having a bad day, both of us. Doesn't mean we have to throw away our friendship. It's too good to waste. Yes. I'm going to give her a call to see if we can make up. Go on, Connie. She'll appreciate it. OK. Here goes. Hello? Sora? our friendship I'm sorry if I hurt you Can we talk about it? Think of the memories Our friendship is stronger than this Cause you're the best friend I've ever had Sora
It's been so good to speak to you, Sora. I'm sorry again. Thanks so much for understanding. See you tomorrow then. Bye. All sorted? Yes. Thank you, guys. You've reminded me about the qualities that are needed in a friendship. Being there for your friend. Trust, patience and understanding. Exactly. It's reminded me just how important friendships are. And that they aren't disposable. They need to be looked after and cared for. I'm going to get in touch with a friend I met years ago when I first started working. We haven't spoken in a long time, but I'd love to know how she is. I'm going to see if my old Navy pal fancies coming to stay this weekend. I'm going to meet my friend this week and tell her how much it means to me to share a cheese toastie with her. (laughs) That's great, guys. I've also realised that I got into the wrong mindset about getting rid of things. I've been throwing things away without thinking when they could have been fixed. From now on, I'll be more like Kenny, mending anything that's ripped or broken. Good plan, Connie. And if I can't fix it myself, I'll bring it to the repair cafe. Thank you so much for your help, Laura. No problem. I'm so glad your necklace is fixed and your friendship is back to how it should be. Me too. It's time to head back to the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency. Bye, Laura. Bye, everyone. Bye, Laura. Bye, Laura. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, Laura. Okay, adventurers, it's time to say goodbye to our imaginary journey and get back to reality. See you next time, everybody. Bye. 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 So, adventurers, this is the last full episode in series three of Armchair Adventures. This series, we've been on a poetry adventure. Jumpy jump high, jumpy jump low, jumpy jump into Calypso. A camaraderie adventure. We want to help you and all your customers and adventurers work together. As a team. We've adventured with a magical mirror in a charity shop. Let's see where the boots came from. A changing room in a football ground. Red and white colours. The team are running out of the dressing room. Just one player sitting on the bench. She fastens her football boots. These football boots. And we've tackled the biggest obstacle course on earth. Look at that giant net you have to climb over first. It looks like a mini pyramid. I want me mummy. Oh, don't be daft. It's Connie doing it, not you, Ronnie. It was a joke. Pyramid, mummy, get it? What has been your favourite episode, Adventurers? Let us know by rating and reviewing on the Apple app. We'll be back in September with Series 4. But in the meantime, don't worry. Uncle Chris and the gang have been working on some fab bonus episodes for you to enjoy over the summer. They'll be released on the first Thursdays in July and August. I can't wait. Love you guys. All This episode of Armchair Adventures was funded by Suez Recycle for Greater Manchester Community Fund. Thank you.